hello guys so in the first chapter we have gone through introduction to the iphone application development including what are the tools and technologies we are going to use for developing the ios applications as well as what are the minimal requirements to get started with the iphone application development in this video we will check it out uh, to understand the basic xcode environment uh, what are the components available into the xcode uh, which can be hand which can be handy and which can be helpful for developing applications easily so let's start with the xcode environment first now so here is the xcode environment uh, as we can see there are three options available uh, call three create new application existing project or open uh, clone the existing project so from these options uh, initially we will check out uh, how to create a new project and what are the options available into the project when we are creating any project so clicking on that these are some of the options we are getting for uh, when we are creating any application like multi-platform ios mac os watch os tv os or other depends on what kind of application we need to develop let's say we need to create a watch os application then we'll have to create uh, we have to choose these options like ios application which or what uh, with watch application or it's a dedicated watch application or watch extension similarly there is a, a separate application we can create for mac application mac os as well mm, then there is an option for the ios application so in ios we can see there are lots of options available like a normal application document game application ARKit application sticker yeah iMessage extension application so initially we will choose a application template as an initial when we choose that it's initially asking us for the test uh, application name so we'll give the test application as an application name for now So when we are, we are giving the application name as a test application, if we, uh, we can see that it's automatically appending with the, with the organization identifier and it's creating a unique bundle identifier for the application which will be used throughout the application when we are launching the application, it will be uniquely identified. So once the application is published, we will not be able to change anything on the bundle. Uh, organization identifier, we can take anything like it's a it can be username if if it's a if it's a individual account then it can be username or it can be company name as well so before publishing the application we can change it anytime so on basis of this bundle name uh, relevant application id and provisioning profile will be created on a apple account that we will show into the later state uh, later videos uh, also the team ID will be set up according to the Apple account which we have logged in now after that uh, it's giving us two options Steve UI and a storyboard so right now we will select the storyboard option lifecycle also we do have one option only UI kit uh, app delay option so we'll select that language we have two, uh, two options here Swift and Objective C so Right now we will uh, select the Swift language only as it's more training right now. Then we have two check mark optional options. Uh, it's not compulsory to select. If you are managing some of uh, some sort of storage into the application, we can choose this one. And another option is for testing. You need to create a test module. Then we can choose this one. We are not going to choose right now. So let's go to the next. Now it's asking for the path of the application. So right now we are selecting desktop and click on create. So once we've done this, uh, we can see the application module is created now. Test application is ready now. So how it looks like? As we can see, there are lots of options available. Uh, 
this is the file control application project and relevant files will be found on this left panel only this right panel is inspector module where we can set up all the things like when we select the project we can change the project name we can select the latest x code project format here and the center part is the main part we can hide the right module right now here it's asking for the ios develop deployment target so what we can do is whatever minimum uh, deployment target we need to select that we can choose from here only other than that this is the release target and this is the configuration settings we need to do uh, whether we need to uh, run the project in release mode or debug mode so what is the difference between the debug and release is whenever we are testing uh, we are doing inter internal testing for the application in simulators or selected uh, devices so at that time we will choose the debug mode only we will run the application to the debug mode only but whenever we are uh, getting application ready for the publishing or we are getting ready for the uh, release testing through the test flight or some other ways so at that time we have to choose the release only here the uh, in edit scheme also we need to choose the same only initially we are running for the debug mode only so we will select the debug everywhere other than that there is a sim list of simulators available uh, which we need to select for testing the applications so for this many simulators we can test the applications apart from that if any additional simulators required we can also add later on from here only now after that as we can see there is a deployment information available from that we can select whether application is iphone ipad or mac supported or not and main storyboard also we have selected here uh, next is uh, orientation so initially we are giving the portrait version only we are, we are not going to give the landscape support uh, so we are deselecting that then status bus style option whether we need to keep it a dark or light theme that we can keep here is apps icon uh, app icon selection and load screen selection so how it's going to handle so let's go with the launch screen first the launch screen is a, actually a splash screen which is default created by the xcode itself when we are creating the project later on we can customize by adding the logo and color combination from the inspector module let's say we are selecting a view from here so here all the properties available we can also choose the color and we can change it anytime we can also add image control here uh, and we can add the uh, similarly we can add the logo uh, and customize the splash screen as well some of the other frame settings also we can do as per the requirement so this is the splash screen now app icon how we can manage so in assets by default they are giving the app icon asset set uh, which we need to provide these app icons are the size different size of app icons which will be going to use uh, either in a, a notifications either on a store listing so we'll have to provide all these app icon sizes uh, other than that if you need to add any images which are going to use later on into the application that set we can add here from directly create uh, add image set and like back icon so here it will ask us for the resolutions uh, 1x 2x and 3x so we'll have to provide all three sizes or if we don't need to provide the sizes then what we can do is uh, we can render as original image and single scale so now it will ask us for the single scale only so we can directly drag our image here and then later on we can use that back icon anywhere into the application directly now let's come to the application cycle so whenever we are creating any project app delegate dot swift will be the default file that will be created and it will maintain the 
uh, application life cycle as we guess, as we can see there is <coughs> first option that is read finish launching with options uh, this is the first method that will be going to call whenever we are launching the application for the first time into the device so whatever validations and uh, conditions we need to put on while launching the application we can put there we can call that function from here only there are also few other uh, lifecycle methods available which you can go through here and we can use it anytime so there are lots of methods available these are the delegate methods delegate methods are the predefined methods which are predefined available and we can use it as per the our requirements next thing is a view controller this is nothing but a, it's a single page they have because we have uh, created the app template so in app template they are giving us a single by default a single page created so this is the view controller page uh, like this we can create n number of pages like login page sign up page uh, home page like different different pages we can create and for that view controller will be created so from here only the page will be controlled from here we need to declare the variables and functions on all the validations we need to put here only for the particular page and this will be the main dot storyboard this will be the design part for all the pages whatever pages we are creating for that all the pages we have to create the design part here so we can handle the design from here only we can connect it with the U controller and we can uh, add more controls here like button, collection view, listing, slider, images. These all options we can directly drag it here and we can directly connect with the view controller so it will be connected with the, our business logic. So here also we can add n number of view controllers which are going to connect it with the pages here uh, apart from that there is a info.plist file here we need uh, we can give the permissions uh, suppose we need to give some of the permissions like location permissions uh, for camera per permissions for accessing the gallery permissions that all permissions we can give from give from here only apart from that if you need to add any custom fonts that font properties also we can add here then the part is coming is sign in and capabilities from here onwards we can add more capabilities the capabilities like uh, post notifications in a purchases that's all capabilities we can add it from here so this is the basic overview how it's going to give us our options and how we can utilize the xcode for uh, making the better applications in later video we will check how to make a simple hello world application and how, how to use the basic controls of the uh, xcode and swift so that's all for this video thank you guys